Alrighty, let's get back to it. Uh, back from the split, and uh, we're looking for Barrett and the guy I guess that had helped find me at the beginning of the game. So yeah, there's a little mission work to do then. Looks like we have to fix the uh, comms tower. Anyway, welcome to uh, people working, uh, watching this in the future. Hope everybody's doing good. This is just a continuation of an existing stream that I was doing today. And we'll see where we get. We're going to play for at least another couple hours. I basically already decided that the game is okay. Like, it's not like my favorite game ever. I don't know how if I'm gonna intend on. Oh, I I have that one. Uh, I don't know if I intend on like beating the game per se, but or like I'll probably beat the game. I just don't know if I'll do like a lot of extra stuff. Extra stuff might just be like in my time on my own. Yeah, that's kind of like where I've decided that I am. Nothing crazy. Just okay. <laughs> Emergency power cell? It looks useful, but at the same time, it doesn't appear that it is. Dates for Darla. Four. Space undersuit. Oh. Good book. Ishverker mask. Weird. Somebody needs to clean their showers. <laughs> Just sit everywhere, don't you? <laughs>
I get it, it's, I get it. Seems to make that a little bit easier. Hoping there was a good reason that was locked. Uh, look for power source. Uh, you notice some auxiliary power banks in the next room. They appear to be standard power cells. Hold on a second. Right, I need two more. Green, green trap is clean. Okay. We now know. This 
So, you actually get that computer working again? Mm hmm What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? What? Really? Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do. But it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after... all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, maybe we can talk. Hmm. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey... If you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change. <clears throat> Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. My contract's up with Argos and... Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where <laughs> I need it. Yes. Assignment Vectera. Right. I'll get What can I help you with? Until later. Let's go. Time to get this ship moving. some more junk. luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out for Hello while you're at it. <clears throat> okay, I I need to know how to sell stuff in a, in a in a in a good in a good way. system
If you wait 48 hours, okay. <clears throat> uh, finding a merchant to do business with is all well and good, but there's another complication. Vendors are, have varying amounts of credits available at any time. This tends to vary between vendors, and not for vendors. A dubious merchant in some rundown hole in the wall has 1,500. Uh, well to do might have 5,000 or even 10,000 credits regularly. Once their funds are depleted, uh, you won't be able to sell to them for a time. Uh, if you want, if you wait long enough, the market will do its thing and your vendor's wares will become liquid capital. Liquid capital and replenish. Uh, this should usually takes around 48 hours. Okay, so I want to sell some shit. <laughs> like, legitimately. But I'm willing to, to wait 48 in game out. In between bouts of selling. <laughs> And I'll pick up everything that I can off my ship. Because it doesn't matter if I'm if I am over encumbered. Did you know I used to have an office near the top of Mast? Hmm. How far the mighty have fallen, eh? Oh, you're not doing too bad, Sarah. Imagine if all this was potatoes.
Okay, did I get everything? I think so. Something I can yes, I can give her a different outfit. <laughs> You know what? I'll give her this. And I'll give her those. Don't load us both down with two. Shit. Fine. You actually get uh, a different. You get a different outfit now. Good. Okay. Let's go do a selling mission. Captain, greetings. <sighs> Need some work done? Start with miscellaneous. This vendor is now out.
if it belongs on hope you're finding everything you need oh please take a look I don't need any throwables. <clears throat> And we're already past the limit. Okay, so Thanks now I just in. want to try to wait for like 48 hours. It did say 40 to 48 hours UT time. Hmm. <clears throat> I'll, I'll check to see what happens after after this. Yes. Shopping at Jemison Mercantile. anything you need this gun is kind of cool but I'm gonna get rid of it Sight looks so goofy on there. Offload carrying enough butter there, or should we find some more? We're gonna find more. But uh, you should be happy, Sarah. I'm actually selling. Hey, you! 
you have a minute? I need to talk to you. You're the one that was on Vectera, right? Uh, you flew in on the uh, frontier. Depends on who's asking and why. Tommy Bitlow, SSNN research intern. Word is the frontier was involved in an attack. It's true, right? You saw some real action. Uh, <clears throat> good people died and are injured. Oh, I I'm so sorry, but I you're the first source I've ever met. Oh, this is great, great. Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you. An actual eyewitness. Uh, there's credits in it for credible, newsworthy information. I can use the money. And easy money, too. Just go to the SSNN building. It's not far. Keep it up, Tommy. You're killing it. Ugh, Tommy. A little tact. Wait another forty eight hours. It's not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> Doing a jump scare on me there. You should inspect. I'm almost there. They're shipped for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Got anything you need to offload? Nothing for us to do. You're in good flying condition. What ships do you have for sale? I'm sure you can find something you like. The ship is 54. So it appears it doesn't matter where your uh, grab jump bay is, huh? Oh, this is a three-story ship. Crazy. I do kind of want to go for this look, though. I, I kind of like that that uh, theme. It's super low in cargo capacity, though. Oh, this guy's kind of cool. Okay, no problem. Make them all missiles.
so what's the benefit of having this it's, oh it's just got like a, a different fire vein <clears throat> I'd rather take those. Okay. Are there no other cannons? Yeah, that's a downgrade. That's also a downgrade. Okay. Would I be able to add more... Cargo. The answer is no. I need stuff that adds to the hull. You can only have one reactor per, right? Yeah, only one reactor. Structurally, this adds nothing for me. You fucking do this. I don't understand. Like, how do you end up making 
a better ship. As it, as it stands right now, it seems like basically impossible for me to do it. Because I can only have 428. And each of these adds like way more. Who's unattached? Demos Skeg. <laughs> I want to put something underneath there, but we'll see if I can figure out if there if I have anything. It says we're too heavy. Yeah, I just don't, I don't, I don't understand certain things, which is a bummer. Hey, 
Anything I can help you with? Never mind. I thought he I thought it was saying that he could sell things. I shouldn't have to do much more of this. I think I might actually be almost underway. I finally started actually increasing that. Crazy. If you don't see what you want, feel free to ask. Hope you're finding everything you need. Oh, please, take a look. A stealth equinox? Stealth laser? <laughs> I didn't mean to sell both. Appreciate the business. Yeah, I'll have to dick around with the spaceships on my own time, I think. Because there has to be a way to increase the hull. that I'm not seeing. see what you want there is a bit more in the back oh please take a look you got a bit more in the back too I think that's actually everything. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Oh, what a load off. not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. Good luck finding Mary. Keep an eye out for help while you're at it. Okay, let's see if I can upgrade my uh, cutter. Oh, apparently there's no upgrades available for the cutter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right, well, that does that. Good, I like having more windows. That actually makes it look much better. What I kind of wish that I could do is uh, pick up and get rid of all that extra clutter junk. Yeah. That's what I wish. The cargo hold is too full. All right, well, I'll worry about that another time. Let's go save Barrett. of a kind salvage oh i might have to check that out <clears throat> fine barrett oh what is that <laughs> it's like a it's like a long boy it's like a space yacht are roaming this planet. Hmm. Time to find out. Time to find out indeed. It's really toxic environment.
You guys are dead. I'm glad you're handling the messy work. You were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Nah, nah, I'll, I'll be all right. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. You should let us help you. There's no reason for you to have to suffer needlessly. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. <laughs> oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean... I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little <laughs> finger gun thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So. I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. <laughs> the Crimson Fleet has him again. I was drifting in and out, but yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is, yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. There's something I need to talk to you about. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Mm -hmm. Well, it got me thinking. 
So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. I feel like we're making some good memories of our own. Oh yes, absolutely. I, I didn't mean to compare. Those were just... Oh, I don't know. Different times. Arja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protégé. Hey, so I pinched a few ideas from my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? At any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together, but it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. We catalogued unusual stellar phenomena, a few habitable worlds, and some unique life forms, but nothing SSNN would bother to report. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Arja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend, but we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit She's not and there. I could make proper introductions. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Arja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. <laughs> Flirt. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. <laughs> Sarah Morgan did not like that. All right, anything on this ship? spot for me on your ship I gotta get off this rock yeah let's get going you bet. <clears throat> I've worked on enough remote outposts that I know a thing or two about optimizing them for material production and if you're in the market for a mining buddy I'm your guy yeah let's get going Whew. I'm glad to hear Crew can be uh, crew from any location can be assigned to a landed ship. You 
got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. All right, we need to get off this planet. Anything interesting in range? Please let me have like quick saved or auto saved like after we recruited the dude or whatever. Just flirted too.
Keep scanning. I'm sure there's something nearby. Right, hello. <clears throat> oh, hey. Nah. You should let us. Man, I was so terrified. There it. I'm trying to pick the same options. He tells me. I just remember it. I mean, bingo. Uh, you miss the fun, man. Oh, yeah. Probably should. So, I was real excited when I... And then, I was drifting in and out. Got a signal from... Hey. Yeah. <sighs> Give me a minute. Let me know when you want to head out. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. Still think there might be a spot for me on you? You bet. I've worked on it. And if you're in the market for it. Phew. Oh, I'm glad to hear you. You got it. Catch up. Remember our last com- Well, just because I wasn't familiar- Really? After reading the- Oh, yes, uh, Aja was the one. Hey, at any rate, we catalogued on. Exactly. There was nothing. How oh, I find that sort. I'll take that as a compliment. You know, well, I respected her. Had that come to think of it. Well, I don't expect. You see, I. If you knew about. Please. <laughs> okay. Fucking saving. Alright, let's go. Now, if you run into evil animals, we'll be fine.
like we're in the clear. I like this gun, because <laughs> it just keeps them running away. being reassigned somewhere? I've had this on deck for a while now. It's all yours. Okay, thank you. Is my I found your buddy. calculations before we're out of range out of range of what you've given the fleet a lot of trouble barrett hey since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble isn't that just fighting back hey pilot could you move your arm a little bit to the left <coughs> i can't make out the console don't move he's trying to figure out our destination probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit well, yeah, thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. <laughs> yeah, I'm still full. Uh, I might have to just drop stuff on the floor again. Actually, I'm not doing that bad. Alright, let's go.
god. Chip's hull integrity is low. How do I not have... Damn it. <laughs> Part of the problem was the fact that like when I launched into space, I was like already inside a fucking asteroid. Nice to see you. are not out here now. Okay, it takes automatically to the sh uh, to the ship. Let's trade. Oh, well, why didn't you say so?
Sell from ship inventory. This sucks because like I'm gonna need all this stuff, yeah. For something, right? I'm gonna regret selling that many, that many of them. Yeah, that sucks. I don't want to. I don't actually want to sell all of that stuff. Surviving being attacked, causing trouble. Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination. Probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. <laughs> I've had enough of this. It sounds like you're not interested in hearing more. That's too bad. 
We'll continue to reach out to you with additional opportunities. Thank you. I'm gonna shoot you down. <laughs> This might be the last thing that we do. Good four hours. I end up being like four or five hours after I finish <laughs> this mission, but that's what it. Sad that I didn't get a chance to like refight those dudes. to tell you the number of inhospitable worlds like these that I've visited. Super protection to play with, yeah. Now it's not really the time to do this, is it?
found a good axe. They should have a uh, use instantly function, which basically just uh, like if you come across like a food thing, uh, you have the ability to like use it right away to heal. I certainly hate to find them. I wonder what kind of cool mods people have come up with for this game so far. I know that people are already putting like Star Wars in. Like you've got uh, Stormtrooper outfits and shit. That's cool. VHS tapes? <laughs> Why? A hookah canister. Hookah hose. Space hookah. Coming this fall. Return to the Interceptor. the space pooch that he wasn't able to pick up or again last time. Listen, I realize you're kind of known for being badasses and all that, but seriously, clean up after yourselves. Uh, no. Pirates.
Skip capacity boot pack or boost pack. All right, let's go get Baron. No certainty to the universe at all. Hello. But once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. Pulling my leg again, right? No exaggerations this time. Hmm. What do you think? Unicorn. Not what? A mythical mare with a magic horn thing? Come on. Was King Arthur riding on it too? Okay, it was more of an extreme of file in the vague shape of a horse. But my point still stands. You need an open mind. Oh, this is going to be bad. He was probably a dude that I could talk to. <laughs> That dude was definitely a dude that I could have talked to. <laughs> uh, but nope. <laughs> I chose violence. Yeah, how you doing? Too many odds and ends. Time to let something go. What's up, Barrett? Well, uh, I can't say I feel too bad about you killing someone who kidnapped me and probably murdered a lot of people. But he looks older without the uh, the face mask on. We were just laughing up the whole time. Hey, you're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. Who's a pirate? Matsuo the Grim. Honestly, a pretty nice guy <laughs> as far as pirates go. I think I butted heads with his mentor once years back. Had the same kind of surprisingly hospitable vibe. Hmm. Honestly, I was kind of rolling the dice with it. <laughs> it's like one of those hey, quest line sometimes a bet pays off. missed. Depends on the question, but I'll give it my best shot. I think about it a lot. There's so many possibilities. Some wonderful, some terrifying. I'm not a fearful man, but I am just a man. And I'm keenly aware that this artifact could change my life. Or end it. Well, he certainly means something. Because not everyone who touches the artifacts sees them. My first instinct was it was a message of some kind. Like the Voyager record. Communication from a higher life form reaching out blindly into space. 
But now I'm wondering if the vision wasn't just sensory. My new theory is something's changed in us physiologically, as in not just a message from beyond, but a delivery. On Bendy? No, wait, it was Kazal. Uh, I can feel Lynn's admonishing stare boring a hole in my back. She's not actually standing behind me, is she? Well, point is, my story's probably a lot like yours. We dug a pit, found some really wonky readings, and followed them to the artifact. Well, when I picked it up, I had no idea what it was. I knew it was something spectacular, though. I saw a vision, flashing lights, a whole shebang. Sure, like what? Tell me about yourself. Let's see. <clears throat> I've been in Constellation for a long time, as you know. I enjoy cheese, <laughs> my work, and long cheese. walks on unexplored planets. <laughs> what else did you want to know about? That's all. Good talk. Well, that's all I have, too. All right, well, I guess we're going back to the lodge. So, mm-hmm. All right, let's go. I almost feel bad for just like outright killing the dude. <laughs> uh, but I mean, they give you the option. it up. Having a grand old time. Ah, oh, lovely. Crimson fleet. I'd forgotten I hadn't had my weekly fill of pirates just yet. Here, I have something you for you. <laughs> oh, you're incorrigible. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's been a while. 
Check back with me from time to time after you return from our planetary jaunts. <laughs> if I pick anything up, it's all yours. Okay, now. A lot of this other stuff I can, um... <laughs> I can probably, uh, sell once I get back into normal space. drop off all of the artifacts that we have collected and then we'll call it quits. So I am having fun with this game. It's not like the greatest game that I've ever played. Uh, I wish that it had more space things. The times that I'm having fun with this game are when I'm dealing with like, I don't know, more alien type things or more like space travel or space fighting type stuff. That, that's when I'm actually like having a lot of fun. Go ahead. It sounds like you're interested in hearing more. We have several tiers of warranty. Please listen. Our Power Plant Plus plan provides coverage our power for plan our Diamond Select plan. Plus includes plan. everything in the Power Plant Plus plan, with the exception of air conditioning and water recycling, as well as defense systems. Our Platinum Elite plan. Do any of these plans fit your needs or budget? We also have finance. I'd like you to leave me alone. That's too bad.
Let me know if we're going to head into the well, so I can watch your back. You what well? Furious Calibrated Solstice. Ah, oh, I have a new friend. Also, have a new axe friend. Okay, good. Nine weapons. Ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc. There's a bit more in the back. Oh, please. Oh, you don't have much money. Appreciate the business. Okay, let's make sure I've got the weapons re-equipped. Yes. Eager to explore the universe, there's nothing quite like the feeling of returning home. Okay, new artifacts. You worried sick. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? 
to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now I wasn't aware we were competing, but game on. Oh no! Feeling, Don't you two yeah. start. We're supposed to be working together. Ever since I found the second one. What's wrong vision. with a little rivalry here and there? Being I think around it pushes us to be at our best. Comforting. Or causes well, hey, I, I'm still not a hundred percent. Arguments which then breed distrust. Noel is right, Mother. Why don't I stick around? I'm having well, two different I conversations. Was at two one time, corners of the universe. And then the other. Mm, what do you think? Mark, Your competition can't be that bad, can it? Exactly. We're all friends here. Why shouldn't we want to bring out the best in each other? The best shouting, you mean? The halls of the lodge echo, you know. Competition for the sake of competition is not valuable to me either. I'm with Noel on this. We have enough competition already going against us from the outside. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the rook to meet me back on board the station. No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. I cannot wait to meet her. It's been ages since Constellation said someone new. I wonder what she's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff now. I'm going to be interrogated by a child. <laughs> All right, well, I leveled up. That's certainly good. I haven't picked up enough locks to get further. That's okay. A one more point. Get more rare inorganic resources from surface objects. Oh, hello. Why is everyone joining when I'm basically finished? <laughs> uh, oh, well. Such is life. But yeah. Uh, actually, can I recruit you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I think I Oh, never mind. Apparently you're All right, then. you're still with me. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. Got my attention. Captain. I hope it feels that way for you too. Are you ready to head back out? Am I ready to hop into a ship and explore? The if you get into trouble, Barrett, you know where to find me. You got it, my friend. Barrett is now your active companion. Okay. Uh, how do I? Aren't I able to like manage people? Seriously, I thought I, I, I thought I was, <laughs> uh, but I don't know how. Crew, okay. So I guess. Uh, crew from any location can be assigned to a landed ship. Okay, so I can I can remove Vasco and Lynn and then I can take Barrett 
and you know what? No, I'll I'll take Barrett and I'll take I'll take Barrett and Sarah. There we go. I guess I need to build an outbound an outpost. Oh, that's a whole other thing. I think that's probably like next time <laughs> oh god anyway uh i would say that the game is okay um like currently i will say that i have put like okay everyone says that the, the game like the game gets good after 12 hours i have put 15 hours into this game it's it's a game it's just like the biggest thing that I'll say is that like I'm not bored with it per se. I'm the kind of person that can get a I can get along with a game that's like semi slow, and this game is not fast paced. Uh, but then again, I don't really think that any Bethesda game really is fast paced. But I'm okay with that. Um, I do have a history of having a hard time finishing Bethesda games because I find them either overwhelming or they eventually get just too boring. Um, by Bethesda standards, it's a cookie cutter game. It's if you like Skyrim, if you like Fallout, it's the same sort of play style. Just happens to involve like a little bit of space hey stuff. The, um, the downsides are definitely you know, there's no map, so navigation is difficult. Um, and then to check in with you it's, make sure all it's all fast traveling, okay, and so it, that makes the whole point of space travel kind of low uh, as a priority um, but that's kind of like where I want to be the most uh, the the times where I have the most fun with this game is when I'm dealing with some sort of alien creature or doing something slightly spacey uh, because I love sci-fi stuff <laughs> I love sci-fi stuff the more sci-fi stuff I can do the better but when it's just like interpersonal communications and all that sort of shit uh, the combat is a little bit fun because like it's like space gravity and ugh, but it's just like guns and shooting and it's just people so the issue that i'm having right now is that i haven't found the hook so like right now i found enough that'll keep me going through the story but i haven't found like the hook that would make me want to like 100 percent this game so uh to me, it, it's a game that was hyped up too much for too little. Um, it's not that this is a bad game. It's perfectly fine. It just it just rests a little bit like above average, I guess I would say. Um, I don't think that they did. There's so many things in this game that are just exactly the way that they, that they would have been in Fallout or... Uh, Skyrim so I don't know it's just like it's like I don't want to say that it's exactly the same it's the exact same game with a different coat of paint but it's pretty close um, playing it in 4k looks nice but it's not it doesn't it still doesn't feel like the game was like really made for 4k gaming it really does feel like it's a PS3 Xbox 360 game um, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's kind of where it is. Um, but I feel like there is some depth to it. Uh, I would definitely be one of the people that would say, like, if you could play this on PC uh, and take advantage of, like, mods and stuff like that, you might have a better time with this game. But as it stands on consoles, it's okay. It's that famous game. Yeah, exactly. It's the same shit. <sighs> but yeah I did my due diligence I put I put the 12 hours that everyone says is when the game gets good into it I don't know what changed after 12 hours <laughs> but I I will I will say it again I have not not had fun I have had fun it's just it's not blowing my mind like like uh, Tears of the Kingdom 
blew my mind. Like that was that was a fun game that I was like honestly addicted to. Um, uh, if I <laughs> yeah, I mean it, that is true. It is good that they like mods, and when they put out like the official tools, um, it'll be even better. Uh, they might start charging people for mods, of course, but it's whatever. Um, I will say right now, if I had to compare the two big games that I'm playing, which right now I'm playing this, and I'm playing Hogwarts, right? I would say that I'm having more fun with Hogwarts. Hogwarts, to me, is the game with a big open world uh, and lots of dialogue that I don't care about. <laughs> but I'm having more fun with that. <laughs> uh, take it how you would. But anyway, yeah, that's sort of what I think about it. It's okay. Uh, I will say I'm glad that I didn't pay for the game. Um, I mean, I'm paying for it in like a way through Game Pass, but I am glad that I did not pay full price for this game. Either way, I'm sure that there are people out there, though, that love this, and more power to them. Just because I don't think it's the greatest game certainly does not mean that other people can't have fun with it. But yeah, that's what I think. Either way, I've been playing for like four and a half hours, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my, the rest of my Sunday. Oh, there she is. Yeah, have a nice night. I'll talk to you again another time. <laughs> bye bye.